going to show you a very quick way to get started with Illustrator. So I'm in a new document and for my project I want a colorful background. I'm going to start by getting the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a large rectangle and then over here on the left I'm going to change the fill and stroke color. So I think I'm going to do kind of a light blue fill. Leave it with um, probably for the stroke color here none. Um, and then I have in my properties panel with some of my like quick actions, I have alignment. And so if I click these three dots, it's what am I aligning to? Artboard. Perfect. I want it centered, uh, so right, right to left and centered top to bottom. So now my rectangle background is perfectly centered. Oh, I hit the rectangle button. Let me just cancel. And I'm switching to V, the selection tool, move uh, the top arrow. So I'm going to go to my layers panel now and in layer one, find my rectangle and click the lock button next to the eyeball. And now nothing I do will move my rectangle. It can just stay there in the background. The next thing I'm going to do as my example is get my text tool and my poster is going to say learn. And I had my properties are now over here. So layers, properties, you can drag your layers panel out next to it if you use it a lot and you want them both visible. And so over here in the properties panel is where I can choose different font, different size, and you can also type numbers in. So 72 isn't big enough, just type in a number. Maybe that's a little, well, I don't know. Let me get my move tool, or sorry, selection tool again, top arrow, and make my box a little bigger. I like that, that's cool. Um, once again, I have alignment so I can center it. I can center the text within the text box. If I want to change the letter colors, um, I do also have like different like color guide panels so I can kind of play with this. You can go to window panels and get your swatches and stuff like that. So poke around, but if you double click here in the toolbar, so I can recolor individual letters by selecting them and changing the colors. And I want to show you how to insert images from the internet. So one way is to simply copy paste them. All right, book. So right click or two finger click, copy image, minimize all my Chrome tabs, command V or yeah, I'm just gonna hit command V, control V. Oh, I'm in a text tool, so it's confused. So I went to get my selection arrow, command V. Now I have my book. Now my book is in front of my words. It's not where I want it. Um, one way I can move to the back is go to Object, Arrange, Send, Backwards. Um, with the regular selection tool, that top one, Shortcut V, I can stretch and resize. Um, it won't keep it constrained, so if you want to make sure it doesn't get distorted, hold Shift while you drag and resize. Um, if we want to recolor these pieces of artwork, that's slightly more advanced, and I'll show that in a different video or I'll show you in class. Uh, the other way to insert a picture, if you've already saved it to your computer, is go to File, Place. So it's not called like File Insert, it's called File Place. And then you find it. So in my downloads, I have a light bulb. I'm going to place it. And then it asks me to click and drag. And it will be like a really crappy, bumpy preview, very pixelated, until I hit Enter. Or not Enter, what is it? Cancel. Oh, I guess just, is this just low resolution? Well, that's kind of lame. But file place is the way to get pictures that are already saved to your computer. Um, last couple tips for today, things that might be useful. If you want to freehand paint, um, if I use the regular paintbrush tool and I'm trying to fill in a space, let me show you in outline mode. I'm hitting command Y. I just made a bunch of little scribbly lines leave outline mode with command Y. So I'm going to select that with my selection tool and delete it. If I want to instead, you know, kind of paint to one big solid shape, the blob brush tool, and that's pretty close. Blob brush tool lives with the paintbrush tool. Now when I go into outline mode, you'll see that's like a shape with an outline that I've just painted. Command Y to leave outline mode. I'm going to hit Command Plus a couple times. And this shape has a fill color that I can change really easily. And I can add an outline if I want, a stroke. 
and I can change the stroke size. Um, so I think those should be most of the basics you need to get started. I'm going to hit Command Zero. Um, so I moved my layers panel over since I like to have it visible. And don't forget that you can also hide and lock layers and I can rearrange them. So if I wanted to drag the books up above, then, oh, I locked my books, then the books should be in front now. So that's another way to rearrange things. Okay, have fun today.